Um, unfortunately, we do not have any outside guests coming into our building, so we would not be able to accommodate that request. Um, I do understand that you would be masked and, and everything. Fuck, bro, there's some bums, and we got a <laughs> on Saturday and on Friday and on Thursday. We got a <laughs> smack him. Exeter is trash. Oh, all I got to say is Exeter, boys soccer, absolute trash. I think it's going to have to be an absolute shutout. Um, they're a big school, but they're a bunch of weirdos. Like Mike Smith, JV soccer, nasty. They all can't guard him. Matt Majori, no one throws the ball farther than him. I mean, it's just, they're just, they're just, they're just going to lose. They think they're overrated. Um, and I think we're going to clap them. Yeah, so. <laughs> but they're just like a joke. It's it's a preschool. It's a big preschool over there. It's a bunch of it's a bunch of infants over there. Dumb. Worse. Uh, trash. It's just a bunch of weird kids. Embarrassing. Um, predictions is that we're gonna win in every single sport because Exeter is bad. All right, Exeter is just not good. They're not better than us. It's gonna be 35 to seven, and they're gonna have at the most seven points. Our defense is too good, we're locked down. Like, they're not scoring, we're too good. I think Winnicunit is gonna absolutely destroy Exeter. I'm rooting for Winnicunit, so Winnicunit all the way in every sport. Winnicunit and Exeter. I think 27 to, 27 to seven, yeah. Football game prediction, Winnicunit's obviously gonna win. I'm thinking 47 to 14. Um, football game, 28 to 14. Winnicott is going to take the win. Um, as someone on the girls' soccer team, we're going to destroy. It's going to be like 7-0, so get ready. Shout out Chris Cap, straight gorilla. Zeman, he's an absolute menace at the end. This kid cannot be stopped. Matt Alkire, you're not stopping him. Come on. I don't shout out anyone from Exeter, but I shout out Tate Goucher. Coach Ball. Good luck, but I'm still rooting for Winnicott. Kind of Quinn Phillips is the only decent player on that team. I mean, I don't think we're worried. You see that man right there? Put the camera on that man right there. No one on their entire team can guard that man, all right? No one. They eat pickles, cheese, turkey, that you're just feeding a win for Friday, all right? Like, game over. Game over. Uh, so for the Winnicott kind of side, Matt Alkire, dog. Zach Fredrix, dog. Um, the entire defense, dog. Um, fall sports, we're gonna win all of them. Football, no chance. With Jake Fredericks, kid's an animal. But no one cares about fall sports, people care about basketball, and we're gonna obliterate them. I mean, their whole team is horrible. It doesn't matter what the record is, they still stay. Um, I don't know one good player that's ever come out of Exeter High School. He's not even good. He's pretty like, I started playing this sport not too long ago. These kids have been playing all year. Still stink. Still a bum. Like, it's kind of how it is. Yeah. All I know is Exeter will not score a goal on our four and CDM in the back because they're just not like that. Uh, we got dogs up top. I mean, we're just faster, bigger, stronger. Sexier. That's my school. <laughs> my bad, my bad. My we're, bad. we're better, better looking than that team. Um, we are actually called the Pretty Boys a couple times. I mean, <laughs> it's just how it is. We got Riley McKenna in the back, got my two Savini twins. We got Mason, Kai Quinn on the side, Peace Wiz up top, Kate in the back, yeah. and our biggest secret weapon, of course, my girl Sierra, shout out to you. Oh, score prediction. I'm thinking definitely 2-1 Warriors take the dub. Yeah. Not like, what's a Blue Hawk? <laughs> Heard you guys lost your whole starting lineup from last year. Don't know what you're going to do, but we'll, we'll find out. Um, I'm also calling out Emma Collins. I'll see you Friday night. <laughs>